Hey there everyone, so we have some leaked benchmark results of the much awaited Grok 4 model. Yes, if you don't know, let me tell you from the beginning. We were waiting for Grok 3.5, but it will now be called Grok 4. And according to Elon Musk, the whole team is grinding all night. You can see tents like these where they are actually staying in the offices itself and giving their everything. So kudos to the team. Well, coming back to the post, you can see Elon Musk said that the model will be released just after July 4th. So it's kind of ambiguous and uh, exactly when after July 4th, we don't know. But he said just after, so it might be in the coming three to four days, guys. I hope so that happens. Having said that, let's get into the benchmark, guys, and just have a look at the results. Let's start with the elephant in the room. Humanity's last exam, one of the toughest benchmarks that we know so far. You can look at the color codes, but no worries, I'll be explaining you all of that. See, Claude for Opus scores just 10.7%. OpenAI 03, my best reasoning model scores 20.3%, Gemini 2.5 Pro 21.6% and just have a look at Grok 4 guys, it's 45% guys, 45% it is more than double, I don't know how they did it, if these leaks and rumors are true then XAI is going to shock the industry guys, let me tell you one more thing, so this light yellow color is the one which has reasoning enabled. So this is Grok4 Reasoning. Just have a look at Grok4 Non-Reasoning guys. This is a non-reasoning model. It doesn't have lot of tokens to actually think and take time. But even then, it absolutely annihilates the competition guys. And that is an understatement. These are thinking models taking multiple minutes to come to a response. Whereas a non-thinking variant of a model is able to score such high percentage guys. This model is going to be insane if these are true. Having said that, I have to mention one thing. So humanity's last exam is not about just reasoning questions or just knowledge based questions. So there are questions that need no logic but just memorization and big training data. And there are some questions where you have to actually solve questions. So it spans all kinds of domains. Why I'm saying that is we have to see if this 45% or 35% has come from solving reasoning questions or based on the vast training data that Grok is using. Having said that, I'm pretty much sure if it scores 45%, this means nearly half of the benchmark. So it's sure that in many reasoning questions, it must be good. And I've already mentioned about calibration error previously. Calibration error is how confident is the model with its response and it should be as low as possible. So when the model is released, we'll have more information about it. Having said that, let's move on to the next benchmark that is GPQA Diamond. This is straight shot a reasoning benchmark. Look at these scores. Opus scores the lowest, 79.6%. And, and even in my tests, guys, you know, Cloud4 Opus is kind of competing with Gemini 2.5 Pro. So Cloud4 Opus scores 79.6%. Gemini 2.5 Pro scores 86.4%. Absolutely brilliant. O3 scores a bit lower here, but the thinking variant of Grok4 scores 88%, guys. We have to understand the benchmark has nearly saturated. So even getting 2 to 3 points difference is very hard but getting 88% is absolutely brilliant what you have to understand is the non-thinking variant is getting 87% guys when the non-thinking variant is getting such high scores this means that the model is truly intelligent and can come up with brilliant performance without using more tokens let's look at AIME 2025 you can see Claude 4 Opus is way behind and that is kind of expected Cloud4 Opus has been marketed as a coding model by the Anthropic team itself. Talking about Gemini 2.5 Pro it scores 88% OpenAI O3 scores 88.9% nine percent so open air models have been very good at max and are leading let me tell you the best model before grok was o4 mini which scored somewhere around 92 percent but we are seeing that record also shattered with 95 percent what can we say absolutely brilliant let's move on to swe bench and now you can see the colors have actually changed because grok is specifically releasing a coding model called grok 4 code you can see this kind of screenshot was circulating a lot in the social media where you already have grok 4 which is the standard model and you have grok 4 code it says a model purpose built to be your coding companion ask it questions about your code or embed directly into your code editor so we have two different models one for coding and another for everything else by the way guys i'm making this video now but i have already updated a lot of information in my youtube posts you know it doesn't take much time you can see i've updated this information about grok4 and grok4 code 
two days before. So if you want to be informed about what is happening in the AI space and get quick information, you can subscribe to my channel and most importantly, please hit the bell icon to all. Only then you will be able to see posts like these. So let's get back into Grok4 code. Here you can see when it comes to Sweebench, there is no competition. Cloud for Opus are absolutely insane. And you can see Gemini 2.5 Pro, even OpenAI 3 mentioned with red and yellow do fall behind. But just have a look. Both the Grok4 variants. That is the Grok4 reasoning model scores above Cloud for Opus. And even the non-thinking variant is equal to Cloud for Opus. Guys, across all domains, whether it's pure intelligence measured by humanity's last exam, reasoning measured by GPQA Diamond, Max or coding. In all fields, Grok is annihilating the competition, guys. I mean, I don't know about these benchmarks, but this score, guys, 45%. I, I doubt even if GPT-5 or Gemini 3 will be able to cross this, guys. Just have a look at the jump. It is more than two times. Gemini and OpenAI are able to do it. Then it is very nice, but I do think it's difficult. And these numbers are too good to be true, guys. I hope these are true because I'm very eager to actually try such an intelligent model. So I hope I was able to cover all information, guys. And let's wait for the model to release. And I hope they release it in API as well. And the pricing is reasonable. Given the performance, they will, I think, price it way higher. But we'll have to see if they price it reasonably. Then we can surely have a chess competition between OpenAI O3 and Grok4. I'm waiting for this. So I really hope they release it in API. Having said that, guys, I'll be tracking what is happening and when the model is releasing and I'll make sure I cover all the domains, reasoning, max, coding and tell you how it feels and everything. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit the bell icon and put the notification to all. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.